In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use Simpler in conjunction with a clip envelope to create a really interesting futuristic vocal texture. At the moment, you can hear the backing. We have the beats which are provided by Microtonic. We've created the individual kick, snare and hi-hat and clap sounds. We've also got the bass which is coming from Operator and we have the percussive texture which is playing a conjunction of Simpler with MIDI data being transformed by the MIDI random plugin. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the live devices, we're going to drag over Simpler into the empty space and the vocal sample that we have is a vocal here. I'm going to drag it down onto the Simpler. Now at the moment this would be triggered in normal fashion if you were going to connect up a MIDI keyboard but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a MIDI clip and I'm going to create 16th notes on there. I'm going to double click here in the space. You can see the MIDI editor here. I'm going to drop down the groove to swing 16. We are currently running with a swing of 73. A lot of minimal music has a high swing. So we're going to paint C3 across to create the actual MIDI note trigger. So I'll play that for you at the moment. Let's play the clip. Now you can hear it sounding a little bit silly. Okay, I'm just going to solo on this. It's triggering from the very beginning, not particularly inspiring at the moment. Now what we're going to do, if we double click at the top, we can come over to the actual simpler. And if you click on start, can you see there is a frame around the outside? Now, if we were to double click on the MIDI clip and now come down to envelopes, you can see it says sample start. Okay, so we've got this as the data that we're going to be working with in the clip envelope editing area. Now, if I was to arrange the position slightly different here, I'm going to do a mixture. Okay, so you can see exactly what's going on. These heights represent different sample start points so i'll play again so you can have a listen so so you can see different positions at the low point is just on the min let's go higher When we move the height, it plays the sample at a later point. So obviously it's sounding a little bit crazy at the moment because it's constant 16s, but what I would do is go into the note editor and start taking some of these out. Certain positions, we'll see how it feels. Let's put the beats back. So now we can fine tune on the clip envelope. You can notice here at the moment that it's basically suggesting that we're going to be working with the mixer. I don't want to do that. That was the last thing that I touched. So if I come down now, we can specify once again the simpler. Here we go with the vocal minimal and the sample start point. So we could fine tune this. What I'll do is I'll bring up the simpler so you can see this. Can you see the trigger point is different? So you can see it's starting at different positions and also you've got a status area down here where my cursor is where you can see the start point is varying. So let's come back to the MIDI note data. Let's take out a couple of these, a bit too busy. A little bit more interesting now. Let's come back to the envelope data, fine tune it more. Remember where there are no MIDI nodes, the height is irrelevant. It's not providing anything that we're going to hear. I quite like this one here. Not sure about this one. That's better. That's a nice texture. So what I could do is rename this clip Vocal 1. And of course what I could do is to, with this selected, duplicate it. Rename this vocal 2. 
and I could do something different with it. Let's switch over to this clip. I'm gonna lift this up again, because that's almost like a little hook, but ah, at the very end. Let's try a different start. And then switch. Original one, and then next clip. So you can imagine that that's gonna work really well with all kinds of samples. That particular vocal was one example. Obviously, long samples are good because then you've got more mileage. So it's a technique that you can use to add really interesting rhythmic textures and twist up anything that's already there. You know, really good for remixes as well.